Yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski, and this is going to be the first time I'm starting a PvP sort of series in a while. Now, by PvP series, I pretty much mean just playing some randoms every day, and I want to be at least playing one set of randoms every day. And what if one set of randoms, for me, usually just means like three games. So if I can stick to three games a day, I'd be really happy. Now, the reason I want to do this is because I want to shoot for earning that free competitive Pokemon. I think the coolest thing about PvP and Pokemon, and my favorite thing personally about it, is being able to earn free Pokemon just by actually playing PvP and doing the thing you enjoy the most. I think that's really cool. Now, I don't personally enjoy PvP the most. Uh, it's pretty much the third thing that I enjoy the most in Pokemon out of the top three main things, which I consider to be shiny hunting, making money, and then PvP. PvP is kind of my least favorite, but I like to be the jack of all trades of Pokemon. I like to do a little bit of everything. So today we're going to be shooting for this Sceptile. I'm going to make sure I click ready here so I don't get bugged. We even have a Sceptile on our team. How cool is that? So with Flying Gem and I assume Acrobatics because of that. And Dragon Dance. Wow. This Sceptile could actually be a serious demon. Uh, we lead off with Luminian, but I didn't have enough time to really explain the whole series. But the series idea is really just going to be me hopefully pushing towards that shiny Sceptile. So, for those who don't know, you have two weeks whenever the rewards just reset. So, this was the perfect time to make this series. The rewards just reset. So, I have two weeks to earn, you know, however many of rewards of these as I would like to get. Uh, the season is separate from the two week sort of rewards. Seasons last three months. Um, but the weekly rewards or matching rewards reset every two weeks and there's seasonal rewards, which are obviously different. Now I'm 10 and six this season, you know, an okay record, not great, not bad, whatever. Um, I would love to get up to Sceptile. I don't have a Sceptile and Sceptile is a really cool NU Pokemon, but let's go ahead and actually whew, focus on this game. So we're staring down Noctowl. I'm not too scared of this thing. I think I'm actually safe to go ahead and set up Rain Dance. We do have Swift Swim. Do we have anything else that can... The issue is, I don't really have any other Pokemon that can benefit from Rain Dance, which is a little scary. Obama Snow will reset it with this as well. Nightshade coming in, not going to do crazy amounts of damage. I'm not super worried. Yeah, 33%. Flame Orb knocked out, which means he's most likely the uh, the one thing. Now, Hydro Pump versus Ice Beam is actually a really interesting question here. So I think Hydro Pump actually does more damage. So Ice Beam is going to be 90 doubled to 180. Hydro Pump is going to be 110 plus Stab, which is going to be what? What's, what's stab from the 65 or something, right? Or no, 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 55. So it's 55 plus 110, like 165 um, plus in rain. Yeah, I think Hydro Pump does more damage. The fear is missing it, but I'm going to go ahead and go for it. I think this is the damage that I need. Yeah, 59%. What's my special attack base stat? Only 69. This thing has a terrible stat. He's going to Psycho Shift the burn onto me. And that's the whole point of the Flame Orb Noctowl play, which I'm actually okay with this because the burn doesn't really affect me too much and i almost want to ice beam here because i only need to do what 40 percent i don't have to risk the miss oh ice beam just barely doesn't do enough damage gonna leave him at one hp that's unfortunate and he roosts oh i get punished for that i get punished oh that's unfortunate i really wanted to make the safe play but unfortunately I get punished. I should have just gone for the Hydro Pump, I guess. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump here. And if I miss... Okay, thankfully I don't miss. I would have been in a pretty bad situation. So I do take... Oh, yeah, oh that crit would have been so nice first turn. Um, unfortunately, I do take an extra turn of Life Orb damage plus an extra turn of Burn damage. So it's it's pretty, it's pretty you know, important. It's unfortunate, but my team is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with my team here. Obama Snow to set up Hail is interesting. This thing comes in. I'm faster than this thing because I'm in rain. I think I always just sacrifice my Lumineon. I just essentially just go for a Hydro Pump here. It's going to Shadow Sneak me. It does KO. This thing's probably Choice Band. So, since I know that this thing is probably Choice Band... Oh, it's Life Orb. No, we see it. We see that it's Life Orb. Interesting. I really want to bring in Raticate here. I think Raticate here should be good no matter what. Even if this thing happens to have some sort of fighting type move... I think I always go Raticate, Raticate here, because I can go ahead and get my Flame Orb Burn. Now, oh man, I don't think I can go Sucker Punch here, can I? Because he's probably going to switch, right? Part of me wants a U-turn here. U-turn's really good here on the switch, but I just don't know how my opponent plays, is the question. Part of me could just Flame Wheel as well, or like just straight up Facade. I feel like U-turn's the best play. I'm faster. He didn't switch. He didn't switch. He didn't switch. What is he going for here? Ah, oh, that's a little scary. That's unfortunate. I think I'm trying to play too fancy. I think I'm actually playing too smart. And 
I don't know how good my opponent is yet, and I'm I'm kind of just I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm gonna go Surviper here, and then he'll also have access to Sucker Punch then, so I can just go into that. Now, unfortunately, I might take some serious damage here. He goes for a Trick Room. Wow. I guess that would have dodged the Sucker Punch as well. Interesting. The question is, does he switch out now? I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, now he switches out. Wow, really well played by my opponent. I can't tell if it's, I think my opponent's giga giga braining me. It's a little tough to tell. What's the speed stat looking like here? 156 versus 136. What's the rest of my team looking like? The rest of my team is actually, I know Zephtal is really fast. The rest of my team is gonna be slower than this. That's tough, that is tough. Now he shouldn't have a way to, he has EQ for me. Hmm. He's obviously gonna EQ me here. Do I even do I even make the switch? Do I just go for like the sludge bomb on Surviper and go for the poison chance? I think that's my best play, honestly. He's gonna set up rocks. That's okay. I can't do anything about that. My best play here is just go for the, the sludge bomb. Pretty decent damage. Wow. Get that poison chance. Nice. 30%. We do get the poison, which is actually gonna put him in uh range on this next this next attack. He does have trick room up for, I believe, four more turns or something. I'm gonna go for, I could sucker punch here, honestly, but I don't think it kills. EQ is going to take me out. Yep, that's okay. That's okay. I just don't have any switch-ins here to EQ for 4 EQ. Um, I think I want to bring in... Ooh, it's tough. Do I just go Obama Snow? Part of me really wants to go... No, I'm Life Orb. I really want to go Raticate here in Sucker Punch. But I'm scared I don't kill. And if I don't kill, it's really, really bad. Um... I have no way to sustain on this thing. He has too many turns left of Trick Room. Part of me wants to go Sceptile and start. It's tough. I think I go Eradicate and Sucker Punch. My, my opponent actually put me in such a tough position. I feel like my opponent Giga Brained me here. Actually, kind of a genius. I respect it. Wow, Sucker Punch does literally no damage. That is terrible. But I still do live. Flame Orb proc comes out. We're going to have one big facade, essentially. We're stalling Trick Room turns as well, which is, I guess, kind of nice, but this is brutal, man. My opponent, I think my opponent deserves this W. Uh, dimensions do return to normal, which is super nice here. Now, I can't U-turn out here. There's no, I just always facade here. There's no reason to U-turn out because um, I'm always going to die on the comeback in on against Stealth Rocks. Okay. Whew. I think I can take one more burn, right? Maybe two, maybe. I think it's, I think I might be able to take two more, but we'll see. This thing's obviously going to be... F Ooh, it's not faster. I could actually get some really big... Unless he's Choice Scarf. I could get some really big free damage against this thing. Radicate's fast. I don't think he realized how fast Radicate was. I think he made a mistake. Oh, I... Okay, I was Prime Ape. That's a huge misplay for my opponent. That okay, I was crazy. Do I live? Oh, I get one more free facade on Raticate 2, and he has to bring in Porygon Z. This thing has to be Scarf. There's no way this thing isn't Scarf. Part of me wants to go for Sucker Punch. I'm, I'm going to make this... Oh, smart play, smart play, smart play. Smart play. That's a really good play for my opponent. I should have expected that as well. I feel like that's the only play. But I... Oh, man, after sacking that Primeape like that, that's crazy. Is he going to try to set up Trick Room again? What should I go for here is the question. Oh, my opponent's playing very well. A lot of respect for him here. Do I just throw Obama Snow and spam Blizzard? I feel like that's probably my best play. Just bring in Obama Snow and start spamming Blizzards. I feel like that's, I feel like that's the way to go. I love Snow Warning plus Blizzard spam. I've always been a huge fan of it. Just super solid. 61%. Even if he sets up Trick Room, it's fine. I could freeze him here as well, which would be a really big deal. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. Shadow Cloud doesn't take me out. Nice. Life Orb damage. Ooh, if I get oh, if I could have taken him out, that would have been so nice. Like, I'm gonna die here soon. I mean, I st I'm still fine, but ah, oh, yeah, Shadow Sneak. Oh, well played. He's gonna die to his life orb here, but oh, we're in a two v two. We're in a two v two in the finale with Hail up. This is such a close game. Holy! So I know that he has Porygon Z. I have Magmortar. <sighs> this is so scary. This is so scary, man. Oh man, I think I go Magmortar. I think I go Magmortar first. I want to be able to set up a D Dance with Sceptile. I almost want Hail to wear out if possible to just get as much sustain on Sceptile as possible. I'm going to go to Magmortar first here. Oh, that's self rock damage. And 
This is so tough. Does he nasty plot here? Like, what does he do here? I think I sub here, actually. Am I faster? I'm slower. Maybe I just fire blast. I can't. This is actually such a huge turn. This turn could, like, decide the fate of the game. This is actually so tough. I really want to sub here, but I think it's so... It could be so greedy. I'm just going to fire blast in case he try attacks. Yep. Uh, it's, it's a really scary play here. 55%. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe I should have just gone into the Sceptile and tanked one attack. And I get a burn, though, which doesn't really matter, but that's fine. I feel like I actually misplayed this. I feel like I should have gone Sceptile first. I feel like my opponents played this game better than me pretty much the entire game. But if I'm be if I'm being totally honest, I feel like I don't deserve this win. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get it here, so we'll see. How tanky is Sceptile's? Can I tank one attack from this Porygon and get out okay? And It's the scary thing. We're both level 75. I almost want to straight up calc this. Like, that's how important this is. Do I have Drain Punch on this thing? Oh my god, I do. I really want to go for a Dragon Dance here. And just try to live. What is Porygon Z's base? I think it's just safer that I go ahead and go for the... Um, I think I just go for the Drain Punch. The faster Drain Punch. I think I have to make that play. We'll sustain a little bit of HP here. And then if I can Dragon Dance and it's the next threat, I can just do... Yeah, there's no reason for me not to just Drain Punch there. Because Porygon Z just hits so hard. What's the next threat? Drapion comes in. Oh, this is going to be a crazy battle. Um, I don't think I... I'm already faster, so I don't think I need to worry about Acrobat... Or Dragon Dance. I'm just going to Acrobatics once. Oh, that damage is so bad. Maybe I should have Dragon Dance. Night Slash is 81%. I think I'm... I think I lost it, boys. But I think my opponent deserved this win, honestly. I think I think my opponent deserved it. You know what? GG's. I, I'm, not, I'm not upset about that. It was an interesting game one to the series, but I think I'm always people. I mean, actually, someone left a comment on my video recently where it's like, hey, man, like, I think it was really, it really kind of really frustrated me how you kind of like mentioned at the end of the game, like you, how you kind of deserved to win and like how you you thought you played better, et cetera, et cetera. But I think I try to be really, I try to be really blatant and blunt about whether I played worse or I played better, whether I deserved to win, whether I, you know, didn't, et cetera, et cetera. Like that was a case where I didn't deserve that win and my opponent won and I'm, that makes me really happy. Like, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, that was a good, well-fought game. Um, I think my opponent played better than me throughout pretty much the entire game. Made smarter plays. Made less riskier plays, but also just, like, being smart about it. Like, he, he played great, and I think he deserved that win. Um, and that's how it goes sometimes. And I think those are my, definitely my favorite kind of losses. It's the frustrating losses where you played better, and you really probably do deserve to win. But that's just not how Pokemon works. It's not how, like, any sort of... Anything with any sort of chance really ever works, right? So you have to just you have to stomach those losses, but those can definitely be tough. And my opponent deserved that. I'm happy to I'm happy to walk away that or walk away from that game with a loss. When the when the better player deserved that, that's okay. Um, so we've got Quick Feet Granbull here. We can protect Stall for one turn to get access to that quick, which I think is worth to get the facade and everything. I'm just gonna go for that. I think this is a super safe lead. Okay, I was scared of him possibly going for something. I don't think he has any sort of setup. I don't think. I don't think Torterra packs any sort of setup. Now, speed boost, facade, grand bull. This is going to do a lot of damage with stab. This facade is about to do absurd damage. I don't think it'll one shot, but yeah, I was going to guess like 60%. I don't think this EQ kills me. 42, nice. Beautiful. The poison damage is going to start piling up, but as long as I don't giga low roll here, facade should kill. We can also see if he has. Okay, we do kill. I was going to say, we can see if he has a, um, we have Choice Band Steelix. I love this set. Head Smash, Rockhead, Choice Band Steelix. This is a baller set. I'm in love with that. That's hilarious. So let's see what Gyarados popping in with the Intimidate. That is relevant. Honestly, it might be worth making the switch just because of that. Bring this, bring this Grand Bull in later. Um, the question is, what is he going to go for? Like, if he goes for a Dragon Dance here, it's really fucking scary for me, right? Do I have any sort of electric? Does my Mistrevious have Thunderbolt? Do I have any sort of... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Now, what are Miss Magius? The issue is, I don't know... I don't know enough about Miss Magius's defensive stats. Part of me straight up just wants to look up. I could honestly make the Steelix switch. It's not terrible and go for like a Head Smash. Or like a Gyro Ball, which is honestly kind of hilarious. Oh man, this is tough. I, I either make the, the Steelix play, or I make the Misdreavious play. And 
which going you know just understand which one is really tough here i think mischievous is actually the better play but i almost want to keep it a secret until later so mischievous can be really really good or keep it healthy i think this i think risking the hp on the steelix i could also just stand for the facade even though i'm intimidated i think it's worth going to steelix here if he dragon dances uh, I don't think he can one-shot me ever because my insane defense stat. He waterfalls. 35% is still pretty damn good. Uh, but I do have a nice, healthy, you know, gyro ball or, or head smash here. I'm going to head for the head smash, yeah. That's what I expected. I'm going to head smash here. No matter what he brings in, or hopefully he doesn't flinch me here. The flinch would be pretty brutal. Let's see it. Now, that is unfortunate, but it's, a, I mean, it's 30%. It happens. That's not, that's nothing insane. Nothing crazy. Um, the question comes, do I want to, I think I just sacked my Steelix here, unfortunately. So... We give Steelix up, but now we can go ahead and safely bring in Misdrevious. Um, and he's pretty much... I think he's always going to expect T-Ball here. So he definitely switches, right? But I don't know my opponent yet. I'm going to go for the T-Ball play, just in case, as I just don't know my opponent yet. Also, like, what else do I go for here? I could have, like... I think I still just clicked T-Ball. I could have gone for, like, Shadow Ball, I guess, for more, like... You know, I guess, more possible damage with Stab and everything, but... I'll take that, I'll take that. Potentially go for Taunt here in case of Swords Dance, but it's not worth the risk if he's Night Slash, of course. This thing does have Mock Punch. What I want to bring into this, into this, man. The issue is I really just don't have much here. But I really need to keep my, I really need to keep my Mischievous around to answer that Gyarados. Uh, I think I can go Champ. I think Machamp is my best play. What's Omastar's defense looking like? Oh, I didn't know Omastar had such a high defense stat, honestly. That's pretty fantastic. Maybe I could go Omastar? No, but I'm Focus Sash with Shell Smash. I want to keep that up. I'm going to go Machamp here. I think I've actually been switching too much. I'm not going to lie. I think these first couple games I've been switching too much. Yeah, Night Slash does pretty much no damage. I'm really happy about that. That was a crit. And obviously, his whole thing is the whole crit. I just want to go for a bulk up here. I think I'm, I think I'm crazily enough safe to go for a bulk up since I have Drain Punch. Let's see what he brings in. Gyarados comes back in. Yeah, I think I'm fine here. Ah, the Intimidate is unfortunate though. I could have honestly made a hard switch over to Misdrevious expecting this switch, but it would have been pretty damn crazy. Pretty damn brave. Now we do have access to Facade. I'm bulk up Facade. I'm going to go for it. I should be able to live as long as he doesn't flinch me again at a key moment. Okay, 66%. Go to 34%. We could definitely take out this Gyarados. Man, I'd love to sustain my Machamp if possible, but I don't see that happening this game. I think I just go for the... Please don't flinch me again at a crucial point. Okay. Whew. We take out the Gyarados. We also have access to Mach Punch, so he might think that, you know, he's going to come in and sort of clean up my Machamp, but I might actually be able to get a sneak attack. Kind of... Yeah. Oh, and he brings in Zangus. So he's going to quick attack me, but I'm going to Mach Punch him. Should I just switch to Misdrevious here on the on the expectation of that or just go for the Mach Punch? That's a good question. That's a really good question, right? Um, oh, man, it's so tough, actually. My speed's doubled. My speed boosted or doubled. I don't know what, how much Quick Feet boosts. I don't know if I'm faster than Zangus. One sec. I have to Google that really quick. Quick Feet Pokemon. I need to understand if Quick Feet is 1.5 times or doubled. Quick feed boost the speed stat. Status condition. How much is the boost? 50%. I don't think I'm actually I don't think I'm actually faster. I think that would put me at like 180 something? 182 or something? Yeah, I'm not quite faster. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the mock punch play here. Yeah, I kinda knew he's gonna quick attack me there. That's okay. It's okay. It's a weird play, but I think that's okay. Um, I go Swallow here? What do I bring into this is the question, right? If I go Omastar, I think he close combats me. But it's fine because I have Shell Smash, right? But he has Quick Attack. Hmm. This Quick Attack is pretty brutal for my team to deal with for the most part. He also probably has Night Slash for my Miss Magius, which is really scary. I think Swallow is my best bet, unfortunately. I think I just go Swallow and go for, like, Return. 
Not the best play, unfortunately. I think I just return here. 45%. 77 with his return. So now I can reversal, thankfully. And I... Okay, there we go. That's what I needed. I don't think his quick attack kills me here. No, it actually does. Uh, this is unfortunate. I feel like I'm playing this game pretty well, but I just don't think my team fares well against his. This is a frustrating game. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go for the... Like, his quick attack just brutalizes my team. I think I really should have gone for the switch early on, I guess. I give my I guess, but he doesn't have Night Slash, I guess. Man, I was really expecting Night Slash in this thing as well. Ah... Uh, so this is a frustrating game too, but what can you do? Life orb damage comes in huge. Do I need to taunt this thing? What does this thing go for here? I'm gonna taunt this thing in case of Stealth Rocks. I think that's what he's looking for here. I don't know why else he'd bring this thing in. He can't spin against me to raise speed. He can't EQ. Oh, this is a frustrating loss to see myself get EQ'd by an opponent that doesn't know that Ms. Magnus has Levitate. And he's just switching around randomly. Blastoise comes in. Hit him with a Shadow Ball. Strange plays. I want to go for T-Ball here, but if he, even if he goes Sand Slash, it doesn't matter. I just take out his Blastoise for free. Oh, my opponent's throwing. I guess it's a good thing, but at the same time, this game has been really, really weird. This game is still winnable if I can get rid of Zangoose. The Quick Attack Zangoose really destroys my Omastar. I'm faster than this thing. This thing definitely has Night Slash, obviously. We've seen that. Um, is it, I mean, is it okay to sack my Ms. Magius yet? Is the question. Man. My Omastar just can't get any value this game with the folk, with, with the Shell Smash because, because of everything. I almost want to just want to go Omastar here. But can I really take two attacks from Drapion? Probably not. Probably not is what I'm scared of. Do I just sack my Grand Bull here? My Grand Bull only outspeeds Sand Slash. I'm going to sack Grand Bull here. Because, yeah, I'm going to sack Grand Bull here. The only thing my Grand Bull outspeeds... He agilities? What? What is this crazy play? I guess he knew I would be switching out there. That's just nuts. Oh, I'm going to go for the facade, I guess. But I'm going to die right... Oh, <gasps> No way he misses the crit. I live... He lives at... He lives, though, with the facade. He lives that facade at 1%. Are you kidding me? That's a huge deal. Dude, what? If that's a damage range, that is so unlucky. Man. Him living this facade actually changes the game. Game 2 is looking pretty unlucky, fellas. I'm not going to lie. This one's a frustrating one. Now, I just have to go for the surf plays here. I can never shell smash here, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Unless he switches for whatever reason, but... Actually, maybe I do just sell Shell Smash, no matter what. But he's agility up, so he's... No, he's going to be faster anyway. Oh, EQ does nothing. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I could have Shell Smashed there. We're just going to Surf. Ooh, that's... Oh, what if I could have? What if I could have? Oh, man. If I threw because I didn't Shell Smash, that'd be unfortunate. Thingus comes in. He's obviously going to go for the... I'm going to go Miss Magius here. Obviously, on the close combat, I assume. He has to CC me here, right? Finally, we abuse our ghost type a little bit. Yeah, he goes for the CC, which is very obvious. Such a strange game. I'm going to hit him by fighting here. Yeah, even if he goes... If he goes Sand Slash, it's fine. 27%, I'll take it. Strange game. I think I might be able to win this game somehow. This is a very, very strange game. Uh, I'm not... What did he use before? That I, did I taunt anything from this? What did he use before? He just switched last time, right? I don't care about Stealth Rocks here. I'm just going to Shadow Ball. Can't think of anything. I just kill. I, what is it? This game is so strange. This Miss Magius, I I really definitely had to play this Miss Magius well to win this game. I just... What a strange game. Wow. That was... That was a weird game. That was a weird one, fellas. I'm not going to lie. I, that was... That was so... Wow. I feel like my opponent... It was playing pretty well for the most part early on, but there were still like some weird matchups where like, ah, like this, it seemed like it at least. And then I feel like he just, I get it. Like I get nervous. Dude, the amount of times I've gotten nervous and just absolutely thrown. Oh my God, I get it. Um, but I, I think that game really revolved around me protecting my Miss Magius. I needed to have answers to his Gyarados and 
Man, his Zangoose just locked me out of so much stuff. Like him, him having access to Zangoose there locked me out of like setting up on my Machamp that well. It locked me out of using my Miss Magius because of night, I'm scared of Night Slash, which I guess he didn't have. Uh, it, it, not, it locked me out of using my Shell Smash Omastar because I, he just quick attacked me and takes me out. Like there's there's so much stuff that that Zangoose surprisingly like Zangoose isn't a super powerful Pokemon. I think Zangoose is a really cool Pokemon, and I would love to see Zangoose get access to Toxic Boost because I think it I think it really needs it. Uh, which is its hidden ability. I would love to see Zang. It's one of the Pokemon like I would love to see get it their hidden ability the most. But man, that Zangus really locked me out of a ton of things there. That was an interesting game. That was that was a strange one. I, in respect to both my opponents so far, I really feel like game one my opponent played better than me. I deserve the loss. Game two was strange. I can't tell if my opponent. It's, it, you can never. You can't just judge someone's entire play. You know, based on one game, that would be so egotistical and so insane, right? Um, but just, just in the, in the confines of that one game, I feel like me and my opponent maybe played kind of equally in game two. I might have played slightly better in game two. It felt it, it was a weird game. Game two was a weird game. It's hard to judge something like that. But we're eleven and seven at the moment. Sixty-one percent win rate. Not terrible. Not great. Not bad. Doing okay. Uh, looking for that poison barb, I guess. It's funny how many you have like like five games I want to guess or something, something like that. I mean, no, like three three games to get the poison barb, something like that. And then um, we're shooting for that septile, hopefully. Having a grass type Pokemon in Enu right now is super relevant uh, and super important, just because there aren't that many good grass type Pokemon in Enu. Uh, two of the most two of the most powerful Pokemon, two of the most powerful grass type Pokemon in Enu. Both got moved out recently in Superior and Venusaur. They both got moved out of the tier. And those were like the sort of, the, the, the end use, the tiers defining grass type Pokemon. So that was a big deal. We have a Cloyster lead. Are you kidding me? That is really good. I do know that this thing has Shadow Sneak. But this is really good. I think I just go for Shell Smash. Because I don't think it can even get me low enough. I think I'm fine here to just go for... If he like does something into sh into Shadow Sneak to just oh that's that's good, and I have Arbok to absorb these toxic bites. Oh, that's I feel so bad for my opponent. So I'm actually gonna Rock Blast here. I could arguably Shell Smash again and be greedy, but I know that Eridos gets Shadow Sneak. Dude, what an incredibly powerful start for me. I feel for my opponent here. This is oh my god, the Zatu build is cracked. Umbreon comes in. Oh man, I really want to double shell smash here. I assume it goes for some sort of foul play or something. What does this go for here? Is is also the question. Did I just go for the spears? I could shell smash again, or I could go for icicle spear. The question is, what is the play? I'm gonna go for spear. I feel I feel like shell smashing on. I'm, I'm a greedy player, and I make too many greedy plays. I wanna I wanna pull back a little bit on that. So he's gonna foul play. Gotcha. Doesn't quite take me out, as expected. Now, I can take him out with my Icicle Spear. And I'm in a really good position. I'm in a really, really good position here. This is... Oh, man. Cloister's a demon. Getting a Cloister Shell Smash lead in randoms, you feel for your opponent. Because it is... Oh, this thing's going to get obliterated. Even though it's a defensive wall. Like, I think this thing still just gets obliterated. But it might, it might not OKO. It does. Oh my god, that's dirty. Oh, my poor opponent. I feel bad. This is not on you. Hey, say when go. This is say when. Say this is not on you, my man. There is nothing you could have done about this. I might still lose this game. There's been times where I have uh you get too greedy or whatever. And you lose games like this, but I just I still spear here again for stab. 69, dude. What an absurd lead. Like man, Shell Smash Cloister as a lead is just it's too good in randoms, man. It's way too hard to answer. Oh, that's crazy. So now I can go into Arbok, I think. Oh, dude, this is so fucked up. This is so free. So now I can just safely go into Arbok, absorb the toxic spikes, have choice band EQ, uh, and just take this thing. Oh, that's so... And get the Intimidate proc. That is just... Let's see if he has an EQ switch. This thing's still going to take... Wow, 52% and I'm faster. And that was a crit. Dude, the luckiest random game. Literally, this is like the luckiest random game. I, one, one of the luckiest I've ever seen. So he might take me out here, but that's fine. I could have arguably switched over to like... Sw nah, Swallow can't do shit there. Even though it dodges the uh, the thing. 
Okay, so he's at 9.6%, but Sand is up, so it is raising his special defense. I do need to think about that. I mostly just need to bring in something faster uh, and take it out is all I need to worry about. Bringing in something faster to take it out is just the most important thing here. Um, I could go Hitmonlee and like fake out Rapid Spin, but it's a little risky. But honestly, it's I think that play is fine. Because what we can do with Hitmonlee is Hitmonlee is obviously faster. Uh, we can bring in Hitmonlee. Go for the fake out. This could bite me in the in the butt. This could actually. So I'm gonna go for the fake out. It's gonna do very little damage. But if it does enough to where Rapid Spin can kill the next turn, I'm essentially, you know, getting a free speed boost. Only 2%. So Rapid Spin will not kill, which is a big deal. So I have to go for the high jump kick here, which is a little scary if I miss. Okay, we do hit it though. You know, always lucky. Always lucky. I wanted to go for the rapid spin. I wanted to, my goal was to fake out into the rapid spin. We do use his gem too, which is unfortunate. But this game, this game should be won. That's that's kind of how I'm playing it a little too greedy, honestly, because I'm I'm playing it as if it's already won. I'm gonna go for Stone Edge here and not. I don't need to worry about the the rapid spin speed boost because I don't even know if he has anything faster. We get a Stone Edge and we hit it and we get a crit. This is the luckiest random games I've random game I've ever played. This is just stupid. This is just absurd. Uh, Gold Duck comes in. I'm actually going to go for the Rapid Spin, I think, here. I could straight switch out immediately. I'm going to go for a Rapid Spin into a High Jump Kick the next turn. He's going to Hydro Pump. I know he can't kill me in one shot. Rapid Spin's going to make me faster, get a little bit of chip damage. And now I can hit him with a huge High Jump Kick. Don't have Gem, but should still do enough damage to where I can come in and clean up. He goes down to 4.2%. Yeah, this was just an absurd random game. I, I just, I feel for my opponent here. There's nothing he could have possibly done. He played as best as he possibly could have. GG's. I, that's not on him. That was just that was just randoms being randoms. It's a fun game for me, but at the same time, it, it's whatever. Um, GG's. Really good first session, I guess. You know, two and one is a really good record. I'm really happy with that. Uh, it puts our total PvP record in points. Let's see. Our our goal is to get for that septile. Our goal is to go for that Sceptile, so we're 67 out of 1,200. We're pretty damn far away. I might not record every single game or every single session I do towards it, but I'll try to record everything, get you guys the best quality games. Now, we went 12, we're 12 and 7 overall in the season, 63% win rate, 563 rating. We're doing okay. Not great. We can do a lot better. We're doing okay. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys like this kind of series. If you want to see more progression towards the PvP stuff, let me know by liking the video and subscribing for more PvP or Pokemon content. Check out the Discord link down below. Hit up the uh, PayPal and YouTube memberships and all that stuff if you want to go above and beyond as well. But that's pretty much everything. Have a great day. I wish you guys the best of luck in your random battles. Peace, guys.